Sometime in April 2014, I got rid of a, a rape case somewhere in the States. A girl had been raped in one of the villages. They dragged her to at the front of her father's house and left her for dead. Uh, that rape case was not just an ordinary rape case. Uh, it was outrageous. The fact that a young girl had been dehumanized, gang raped by four boys, was outrageous enough. Hey! Oh, you Oh, walk off, walk off! What really intrigued me about the case and got me really agitated and I tried to ensure that there was justice for this case was the manner in which the case was being handled by law enforcement agency, specifically the police. Ironically, the following morning, the father of the victim was being handcuffed and beaten up by two policemen from the nearby police station. The thing is that uh, it's my daughter that was raped. That is why I am here, to make sure that I get justice. You are a wicked father. I cannot take care of your only daughter. You allow her walk around with skipping skirts naked in the street? Ah, what, what was she wearing at the time of the crash? Hey! Hey! Keep her job! Ah. What was all this mess about? My husband. <laughs> He's always beating me. Let me tell you, we are not here for jokers. We need money too. For pen and paper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In trying also to get the support of the family members of the girl, we also tried to talk to the grandmother. She tried to attack us. She was completely uncooperative. Sister Beth now take the case to uh, journalist uh, paper. You know, they, they saw the paper at the you know, everywhere. They said she got to the police station. This eventually did their job. Although the first uh, person that compromised was uh, seriously dealt with and it was a student. The Nigerian police must ensure that they do the job for which they are constitutionally established. The Nigerian police must ensure that they are not the rape reinforcement agency. The Nigerian police must be a law enforcement agency.